Alice, I need your password so I can give a presentation at the conference. Text it to me as soon as you can. I'll be with you in one minute, Dane. I've just got to text Martin my password. Alice, wait, before you do that, you should probably make sure it's actually Martin. That could be an AI voice clone. I had no idea. What's an AI voice clone? With technology today, you can now take 30 seconds of audio of somebody's voice and create a AI voice clone of that person's voice. So that way you can make that clone say anything that you want it to. Scammers are actually unfortunately now using this to attack organizations and uh, people's friends and family to, by impersonating them. How easy is it to do this? Incredibly easy. So it can take less than 30 seconds of someone's audio that's recorded somewhere on the internet and somebody with no computer skills whatsoever can just upload it to a one of these free and open source tools that are out there and create a voice clone, which they can then have it say anything that they want to just by typing some text into a, uh, into a text box. Well, how much of a risk is this? How is a bad actor going to capture my voice? Uh, and bad actors can find uh, clips of your voice pretty much everywhere, right? So especially think about someone that's like high profile, like a, like Martin or a CEO, right? Uh, CEOs typically do a lot of podcasts. They do uh, TED Talks. They do all kinds of public speaking engagements that are recorded and then posted online. It's pretty trivial for somebody to find that kind of content, take the audio out of it, and then they have more than enough information to train a AI on how to impersonate or clone that person's voice. So how did you clone Martin's voice? So again, with Martin, it's very simple. He did a lot of uh, podcasts and a lot of types of different kinds, kinds of conversations. I only need like less than 30 seconds. So just go in, going and finding it, stripping it down, stripping out the audio, and then uploading it to a tool. And I can quickly just add some uh, small little prompts, give it a, some of the extra sense of like how Martin sounds. And that's all there is to it. Now I can have Martin's voice say anything that I want it to. Alice, you are now chief executive officer. My recommendation is you spend our annual budget on a huge party. Okay, well, that doesn't sound like an instruction that Martin would actually give. Are there any other telltale signs that this is an AI voice recording? So with the state of technology today, there are some signs, right? The voice might sound a little bit more robotic. It might not have that much uh, inflection in it. it um, there might be some background noise that you can kind of hear. But that's, that's the state of technology today, and this is the worst it will ever be, right? This technology is only going to get better. A lot of those things I just listed might not be around in years, months, the way AI is going, maybe not even weeks. You should be skeptical of anything that asks you to act urgently. You should be skeptical of anything that doesn't sound like a, a request coming from a person that you would, that makes sense. And you should also start developing safe words in your organization, with, between your friends and family, words that you can say to quickly alert them that, hey, this is actually me. Only we know this safe word. I, I, this is me proving my identity. And I think that's just the type of conversations we need to be having. And can this technology be used for good? Yeah, I mean, it was originally invented to be used for good, right? Uh, this technology was originally developed to help folks that might have lost their voice due to medical reasons. Uh, I think a famous example of this is uh, Stephen Hawking. And, and, and Hollywood's also been using it for, for years now. Uh, as a Star Wars fan, I'm really glad that they uh, that Disney was able to, to capture and clone James Earl Jones' voice. So I know I can hear Darth Vader for the, the rest of my lifetime. Uh, so I think as with any technology, there's tremendous upside, but there's also risks that we should be aware of and, and try to mitigate. Well, thanks, Dane. I've learned a lot about AI voice recording today. If anybody wants to learn more about how HackerOne is using AI and keeping our customers um, safe and secure in their own AI deployments, visit our AI website.